astonishing discovery of the Inca period, a mummy so well preserved, discovered in the Andes, it stunned the researchers because of its condition. It was a mummy of a 500 year old teenager. The Inca maiden, quote unquote, the maiden mummy discovered high up in the Andes, perfectly preserved with archeologists involved going to the description of uh, the discovery, to describe discoveries, one of the most powerful experiences of their lives because of the condition, of course. The discovery heralded as one of the finest and perfect of its kind. Researchers climbed 22,000 feet, feet into the Argentina's portion of Andean mountains onto the world's tallest active volcano before stumbling across the remnants. And uh, what they found was astonishing. A female teenager, about 13 years old, wrapped in a blanket pressed tightly around her crouched body along with another girl and boy believed to be four or five years old. They were taken for analysis. The remains were found to be about 500 years old, placing their identities as Inca, the great empire which dominated South America until the Europeans arrived at the end of the 15th century. Despite being buried under one and a half meters, that's about five feet of rock and earth, their internal organs look perfect on a CT scan as if they had just passed away only recently. Dr. John Reinhardt, archeologist uh, who helped lead the team at the time said the remains were the best preserved of any mummy I've seen, he said. He recounted his momentous 1999 excavation during Smithsonian's channel documentary, Mummies Alive, the Inca Maiden, 16 years later. They reached the peak of Mount Lulaylaco, and he said, all of a sudden, I heard this guy cry out, Mummy. Obviously, that's when they found it. When she first came out of the ground, she was completely wrapped up. We couldn't see any part of her body, but the textiles were just outstanding and they were so well preserved. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Their biggest surprise came when they removed the wrappings as Dr. Reinhardt gently worked his way down from the top. A full head of hair appeared and her hair is magnificent, magnificently, uh, it looks like if it's, it's tiny braids. So uh, he said we had a talk while we were doing it. It was as if we were afraid at some level we might make this mummy up because she seemed so alive, but nothing had the impact of when we uncovered her hands. It was probably one of the most powerful experiences I've had in my life because those hands were perfect, he said. The maiden's hands, as she was later called by researchers involved with the work, they called her the maiden, had all the details of the living hand, her skin, creases, the nails were all intact. Preserved along with her was a spectacular collection of artifacts, including ceramics, figurines, and textiles. And the uh, archaeologist said everything appeared totally untouched. Not a color had faded in any of the materials, nor had any of the relics been damaged or changed in any way since they had been buried hundreds of years ago. Since the initial discovery of this, extensive research had seen the maiden story take a sinister turn. In 2013, scientists revealed that drugs and alcohol played a key part in the months and the weeks leading up to the children's deaths. Testing one of the children, the teenage girl suggests that she was sedated before her demise. Dr. Emma Brown from the Department of Archaeological Science University of Bradford said, the Spanish chronicle suggests that the children were uh, sacrificed for all kinds of reasons, important life milestones of the lives of Incas in times of war or natural disasters, but there was a calendar of rituals as well. That's just terrible. The international team of researchers used forensic tests to analyze the chemicals found in the children's hair. They discovered that all three had consumed alcohol of cocoa leaves from which cocaine is extracted in the final months of their lives. Now an analysis of the teenager girl's hair, which was considered longer, considerably longer than the hair of the other victims, the smaller children, revealed further details. 
she was likely considered more valuable than the children because of her uh, status as a, as a virgin. Tests on her long braids revealed that the cocoa consumption increased sharply a year before the death. Now, Dr. Brown told BBC, from what we know, the Spanish chronicles, particularly active, uh, attractive or uh, gifted women were chosen. The Incas usually had someone who went out to find these young women, and they were taken from their families as well. The results also reveal that the girls ingested large amount of alcohol in the last few weeks of their lives. Dr. Brown added, in this case, we think that the combination of being placed in the grave with the alcohol and the cold, the mountain is over 6,000 meters high above sea level, she would have passed away quietly, they said. So that's what was found here. This is by Joel Day on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.